slab is supported on all four of its side, its effective span will be in both directions. It is sometimes more economical to design the slab on this basis. The amount of load and the bending in each direction will depend on the ratio of the two span, which is the Ly per Lx, and also the conditions of the restraint at each support, whether it is continuous or discontinuous. For a square slab where the restraints are similar at all four sides, the loop will span equally in both directions. As for the rectangular slab, more than one half of the loop will be carried by the shorter directions as it is stiffer. For the slab with one span greater than the other, a large portion of loop can be carried in the shorter directions and the slab can be designed in one direction. In general, for a rectangular slab, the more critical directions of loading it will be at the shorter span. The moment in each direction of span are generally calculated by using the tabulated coefficients. These coefficients can be obtained from BS8110. The amount of reinforcement to resist the moment are determined independently for each direction of span. The amount of reinforcement bar do not affect each other. As for the reinforcement, steel bars are arranged parallel to the span in both directions. To maximize the performance of the reinforced concrete slab, steels are for the shorter span are normally placed furthest away from the neutral axis in order to obtain the greater effective depth. This effective depth is beneficial in terms of the moment resistance generated by the panel. Since that the shorter span of the member is more critical, the reinforcement bar to be with higher degree of depth is provided at the shorter span. This slide shows the design of the reinforcement area for two-way slab which is simply supported on all four sides. First, you need to obtain a factor of coefficients from table 3.13 BS8110 which is this table. Alpha AX is meant for the shorter span and Alpha SY is meant for the longer span. Based on the moment of 10 here, generate the value K for the moment resistance. This K is later substituted into the equations for the lever arm and the lever arm is to be checked and to be less than 0.95 D. Due to two layer of reinforcement bar, the effective depth of the slab in the LX directions is normally greater than the effective depth for the LY directions. Substitute the moment into the equations and the lever arm into the equation here, you will be able to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required for the shorter and the longer span of the slab.